Good morning, my YouTube family. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well this Tuesday morning. Well, Tuesday up. I ain't trying to go back. Let me start over. Because I ain't trying to go back. Good morning, my YouTube family. Okay, I get it right. Good morning, my YouTube family. And welcome this Thursday morning. Okay, today's recipe. I'm so thirsty, y'all. I'm drinking lemonade early this morning. Today's recipe is going to be um, maple chicken breast, okay? Maple glazed chicken breast. And I'm going to do some maple and sweet mashed potatoes. Yes. It is so good. It is delicious. It is simple. And I'm going to show y'all another simple way, or at least I'm going to tell y'all another simple way that y'all can make this recipe, okay? So, first of all, I'd like to welcome to my channel. For those of you that just um, subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. And if anybody's strolling through YouTube and you happen to land on my channel, go ahead and subscribe, okay? I would really appreciate it. I need 1,000 subscribers, so that means I need y'all help, my YouTube family. I need y'all help. So y'all tell y'all friends, y'all tell y'all workers, y'all YouTube subscribers, my YouTube subscribers, y'all tell y'all friends, y'all co-workers, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be something on here somebody like, mm, let me try that. You strolling through, you laying home. Oh, damn, let me try this right here. Oh, this garlic burger look good, and it tasted good too. So I hope somebody out there will make that um, garlic surplus recipe. The pork chop that I did with the creamy rice, oh, mm, that look good. I ain't never seen it done that way on uh -huh, try. It. Okay, well, um, so after you subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a recipe, you guys will be notified, okay? Because you want to be notified every time I upload a recipe. You don't want to miss out on none of these recipes. So, today's recipe is really going to be quick. It's going to be simple. Okay. Um, you On this recipe, you can use, like, the frozen, I mean, uh, like, the um, store-bought mashed potatoes that's already done, you know, and you come on and warm them up and stuff. You can use that. That'll be so simple, and it's quick, and you ain't got to worry about boiling your potatoes or, or mashing them up or putting the ingredients in them. You ain't got to worry about none of that. That'll be the simplest way to do it is to go buy you some store-bought mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, not regular mashed potatoes, but sweet potatoes, okay? And then get you some chicken tenderloins or some chicken breast. Chicken is chicken and meat. I prefer chicken breast when I'm doing this recipe, okay? So if you're going to do this recipe like I am, do chicken breast. So along with our glaze, our maple glaze, um, sweet mashed potatoes, and our maple glaze chicken breast, I'm going to do some um, veggies on the side. I'm doing Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts and they're going to be um, balsamic. Balsamic and vinegar Brussels sprouts, okay? And that's going to be good too. I love Brussels sprouts. I love my vegetables. The only vegetable that I really don't like is um, cauliflower. Okay, so y'all ain't going to see me make no cauliflower on my videos because I don't do cauliflower. But if you eat it, that's good. Okay? I have nothing to say about cauliflower except for I don't like it. That's it. So, let's go ahead and get um, into these ingredients where I can show y'all what y'all need for this recipe, okay? It's quick, it's easy. If you gotta jot down, sometimes when, um, you know, you're looking at a video, just drop, drop down the ingredients real fast because I'm gonna say them what you need and they're gonna be in the description box but if you don't want to look in the description box just jot down what I'm doing or uh, um, the ingredients that I say that you're gonna need for this recipe so it's an easy recipe it's quick and I thank you once again my YouTube family for joining in on my YouTube family for my new subscribers uh, for my new subscribers I thank you for coming part of my YouTube family I really thank you and I appreciate your subscribing so don't forget if you viewing any of my channels, take the time to subscribe. If you're strolling through YouTube and looking for cooking videos and you land on one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I need you because I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers. 
So go ahead and subscribe. My recent subscribers, thank you for subscribing again. And be sure to hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a recipe, you'll be notified. So let's get into this um, recipe, okay? So over here on my counter, I have my chicken breast. And I have, a, I have it already clean. Now, I clean my chicken breast just with water. Okay, I don't put vinegar and salt and baking soda into that because chicken breast is not dirty. Okay, and this is boneless chicken breast, so you're gonna you're gonna need that. Okay, now with this boneless chicken breast, then I get into the other ingredients as we go. So with this boneless chicken breast, you're gonna need some cooking oil, and you um um I have coconut coconut oil. Okay, so make sure you use coconut oil for this recipe. Okay, you're going to use some mozzarella steak seasoning. Yes, I didn't say chicken seasoning. We're using steak seasoning on this baby today. Okay, different. See, I'm thinking outside the box. And Italian seasoning, okay? Alright, so I'm going to take my chicken here and what did I do with my knife? Okay, so that's in my um, dishwater. Okay, so I'm just going to take my chicken breasts here. Now, these chicken breasts over here, was, I used them for another recipe, and I had some strips. I made them in strips. So I'm going to go ahead and use these strips, too. But this is what you're going to need, chicken breasts, okay? And since I had the little strips in the bag, I said, well, you don't need letting them go to rest. I can put them right on in there, too. Okay, so I'm going to cut my chicken because I only have three chicken breasts. So I'm going to cut my chicken. That's one chicken breast, right? That's two. And we're going to cut this one again. We're going to make it three. Be a little... Oh, I'm making another one. Okay, well, that's a strip. We'll use that. Okay, so we're going to take these chicken breasts and I'm just going to try to move that fat part a little bit. I'm going to lay them out so I can um, begin my seasoning. And we're not going to put any oil on these right here, okay? And then I'll do this part last. I'll just add that with that. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take my steak seasoning, pour some in my hand, and just spread it on my chicken like this. Make sure your chicken get nice and coated with the steak seasoning because these are the only two seasonings that you're going to have. So you want to make sure that you're going to use for this recipe. So you want to make sure that it's nice and coated. This is going to be so good, y'all. I'm telling you. When I tell y'all these recipes are going to be good, they be good. All you got to do is just make them. Okay. So. Dang, I thought I had something. I must have used it. 
So I'm going to tell you season already open. Okay, so now I'm putting my Italian season on. Get our little herbs going. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same on the um. On the other side. And I got to get some butter because we're going to need some butter, okay? So now with the Italian seasoning, okay, let me get the spencer butter out. Okay, because you're going to need some butter, okay? So we're going to come over here. And that's what it looks like all seasoned up. And then we'll season those ones that I got sliced up. We'll season those. Okay, so I'm going to bring y'all over here. So, my, t uh, my sweet potatoes, I'm doing them from scratch. So, in this pot, I have sweet potatoes boiling. And I boil them with the skin on. So, um, when they get done, all I have to do is just peel and mash. Okay, so in this pot, let me turn it on high heat. I got my skillet here. And let me wash my hands. So we're gonna put some stick of butter in there, and we're gonna put some coconut oil in there. The best kind of oils you can use for like when y'all sear meat is like coconut oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil. So y'all try using some of those right there: coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and olive oil. So I got a tablespoon of um, coconut oil. Then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna let that melt. And that's it. We don't need a whole lot of oil because we're not frying our chicken, we're just searing it, okay? We're just gonna sear it. One tablespoon of coconut oil you will need and two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna take my chicken breast and I'm gonna put, put it right in the pan. So after this get done, I'm gonna cook my um get my um Brussels sprouts in the same pan. I ain't messing up all them dishes today. We gonna get uh, we gonna do everything in the same pan after I finish this. This 
smell so good, y'all. I wish my um camera had smell of vision and I wish it had taste of vision. I ain't lying, I do. Because I will literally, if it did, I would stick my hand, my hand through this camera and let y'all be tasting these dishes I be preparing. I'll be like, mm, that is good. I'm telling you, you will. If I can do it, I done sure let the first person have their mouth open taste it. So I turned my my um my um pan down to medium high heat. Let me see what I'm doing. And during the quick cooking process, if you find that you need more oil, by all means add it. a knife, a fork, and just stick in my potatoes and see how, oh, they almost ready, y'all, the spoon going through. It's still a little hard in some places, but the spoon is going through it. So we're going to let those cook a little bit more. And I got them boiling on high heat because I'm trying to get them done. So let me get a plate because, um, we're going to need to put this in, in a plate until our mashed potatoes get done. And I can show y'all how I'm going to do this um, mashed potatoes, these glazed mashed potatoes and glazed um, chicken breast. the seasoning to the bottom of the pan and stick it to the bottom of the pan. Try to scrub that, it, that up because when I put them um, Brussels sprouts in them, it's going to be so good. Oh, I might have to put the Brussels sprouts in another pan because I need this seasoning right here for the maple syrup.
and it's smelling good too, y'all. That seasoning or that um steak and that Italian seasoning is smelling so good. That is thin. I can tell this little piece done. Okay, so while that's doing that, I'm going to be um, seasoning the rest of the chicken that I have. With the steak seasoning. And the reason why I pick these two seasonings together because with the steak seasoning, okay, now the Italian seasoning. The steak seasoning has a lot of um, seasoning in it, different spices and stuff. And it has salt in it. So I didn't need to add more salt. And then the Italian herbs, they just got a seasoning, a, a, a whole different taste of its own. You know what I mean? We get the goodness of the seasoning, and then the herbs, the thyme, the basil, the fresh, the parsley, the dried parsley, the oregano, all those good seasonings that's just mixed in it. We get to taste all that. So that's why these two seasonings will go good together. Who says steak seasoning there to be just for steak? Not me. Okay, so when the rest of it, um, so now that I got that, let me take y'all back over here to the chicken. Okay, so I'm turning my heat up and down with the steak, um, I'm going to let them cook a little bit because there was a little pink on the inside. And we want this chicken done.
I'm starting to add in some of the strips. And I'm going to cut these so they can get So let me clean up a little bit of my mess so I can uh, get these Brussels sprouts chopped up. Y'all see how it's sticking to the bottom? But we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna get that up in just a few, okay? So I'm gonna take all, I'm gonna take this chicken, the rest of the chicken out. And I'm gonna come back to this pan right here, but I'm gonna take it off the aisle, okay? Because I want to get my um, I was gonna use it. Let me taste this little piece right here. I'll let y'all see. I was gonna um, you cook it in this pan right here, but my sauce gotta go back in that. So I'm gonna take this chicken breast. Don't that look good, y'all? Okay. Bring your attention over here. I wanna taste this little piece right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
I got my eyes still on. Cause we gonna go right into the um. Mm. I told you. I'm telling you. With the steak seasoning on your chicken. Let me bring y'all over here. With the steak seasoning on the chicken. Montreal. That's what y'all want to use, okay? Montreal steak seasoning. Montreal steak seasoning. And, um... Um, Italian seasoning. With those two seasoning mix together on the chicken, it is so goddamn gonna good, I tell you. So, we're just gonna wash these off. I'm gonna cut the ends. And this is two bags of store-bought Brussels sprouts that I use. That I'm using. Let me get a bowl because I got to put these in a bowl. I can't have them like that. Okay. So we're going to get started with this. Um... Balsamic and vinegar Brussels sprout. I love Brussels sprout. Okay, I gotta get my sweet potatoes because I think they are done. Then I can show y'all what I'm gonna do with that those sweet potatoes. I'm going to turn them into mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. This whole dinner got delicious written all over it. Y'all heard me? This whole dinner got delicious written all over it. Because it's going to be so damn delicious. My kids love Brussels sprouts. And I got them to eating it like when they was young. Then I still brought them to them like when they got teenagers. I just like find different kind of ways to make them like want to eat it. You know, I, 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 um, one of the ways I do it, I chop like um, ham up in it. I fry my ham and add it on in there. I roast it. Hell, I didn't even did it with like ham. Took some ham and um roast the ham, the little ham dices, and put it in here with the um Brussels sprouts. And did it glaze over it. My turn to that thing up. So somebody just came by my gate. Oh. That's it for that. So now we're gonna come back over here. I'm gonna put a pan on the stove and I'm gonna show you guys. I ain't never tried it. I'm gonna, why you want one? Yeah. Let me get one. I'm gonna put it in this pan because it ain't that much. Okay, so here's my pan. So let me turn it up, my pot. Let me turn it back up to high heat. And let me show y'all what we're gonna get started. So for this um 
Balsamic vinegar, we're going to need, of course, balsamic vinegar, okay? Balsamic vinegar. We're going to need kosher salt, and we're going to need black pepper. That's it. Okay. That's not quite it. We're going to need some olive oil, too, okay? So we're going to let this dry out. I'm going to raise it up a little bit so y'all can see up in there. Up in here because I want y'all to see this goodness. <laughs> I am so corny. I know it. I know. I have been told I am corny. I used to have a shirt I, when I was in middle school. Uh, elementary school, I think. One of them was school. I forget which one. I remember I had a shirt that said corny but cute. And had a little corn on it with a little cute face. Okay. This is dried out. So, we're going to take our, let me show y'all. We're going to take our Brussels sprouts here. I'm going to put a little olive oil on them. And just put a little bit in the pan. But put a little bit on here. Put our kosher salt. Okay, that's enough for that. A uh, little black pepper. And you can spice it up with a little red pepper flakes. You can. Okay, we got everything sticking. So we're just going to dump it right over here into this pot. So next time we do that, we're going to do it a little spicy. We're going to do it a little spicy and we're going to cook these for a little minute until they start turning brown a little bit, okay? So next time we do it, we're going to do a little spicy. We're going to add a little seasoning to it and I'm going to hook them up. So those of you out there that don't like um, Brussels sprouts, get ready to start liking them. Because I'm going to give you a recipe that will make you say, oh, I got to try that. Maybe I can eat them that way. I should know somebody that didn't eat Brussels sprouts. I know, like, it ain't nothing but just cabbage, baby cabbage. That's it. That's all Brussels sprouts is. Balsamic vinegar. I want them to, the, the um, get some color to them. So 
So, we're going to let that get some color to it. And I'm going to bring y'all over here and show y'all what we're going to do to this. Um, these sweet potatoes. Oh, they're going to be hard to peel. They're going to be easy to peel, but they're so freaking hot. Oh my God, I got more chicken. I gotta put more chicken in there. I know I went to the sweet potatoes. Let me turn the chicken back on. I forgot all about that. Let me turn this pan back on. Because I don't want to do the mashed potatoes and have the mashed potatoes sitting. I gotta do the. Um... Let me turn this pan back on. I don't know where my mind at. I happen to turn around and look and say, oh, I got more chicken. All this to this is pan. We're not getting rid of that. No siree. Now this is my last little bit of um chicken right here. Thank you, Lord. I just happened to turn around and realize I had more chicken. I forgot all about it. Turning it down a little bit, okay? get a little color to it so we're gonna let them get a little bit more color 
And then we're going to add it. Okay? So they need to be to where I want them to be. So we're going to top that back. smelling good and I ain't got nothing on them but salt and pepper. Okay, let me just take the leader brush and brush down. So, I'm going to turn this down. Oh, let me get this one. So, I want y'all to be able to see this. So, hand me, um, let me turn it down. I don't want it to get hot. How many maple syrup? Where is that? Right there on the on the counter. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of this old grease out. You're gonna need your butter. So we're gonna use one, two, three, four tablespoons of butter. Unsalted butter, okay? And just mash it around, then that browning just start coming up. We're going all that. Then we're going to pour in a half a cup of um, maple syrup. So 
So make sure you get maple syrup, okay? You want a half a cup of maple syrup. And we're just going to pour that right in there. So I got this down on low. We're going to take our chicken. Get all of that goodness in that plate. And just try to turn it, okay? So it can get saucy. And this is our maple glazed chicken, y'all. So I got it on low. And that's it for that. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what we're going to show you what we're going to do with this mashed potatoes. Okay, let's take a look at our Brussels sprouts. Because they should be... Oh, my camera won't stay up. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh, yeah. We're going to take our balsamic vinegar, shake it up, and we're just going to pour it right over it. And mix it together. So I got this down on low heat now. So let me just give this a little taste. Whew. It's so hot. Let me get this going. Thank you. So I'm going to get a baking dish and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next.
Okay, we're gonna let that glaze just sit. So we're gonna get on to these mashed potatoes here. I can show y'all what y'all gonna need for these mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna cut the ends off where the little brown thing is. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that part off, okay? Just a little bit. I'll sit it right over here. I don't like them too stringy. So I'll be trying to cut some of that stringy part off mine. I just don't like that. Like that. So we're going to need a baking dish. Y'all going to need a baking dish for this. And I'm going to show you why you're going to need a baking dish. So I'm just trying to get some of this uh, stringy. Ooh. I'm just adding the strings in my sink for right about now. Okay. Okay, so now. Just for them to be a little creamy, I'm going to add in a little bit of cream, okay? Just a little bit. A little bit more. So I want them cream. So just a little half and half, or oh, uh, heavy cream, I'm sorry. Now you have to get these to you. Desire um sweetness. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. And these are maple cinnamon sweet um mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of maple syrup. Mm 
Mm. It's good, y'all. Taste that maple syrup. Work it a little bit to get it to your um, the sweetness that you prefer. I don't want it too sweet. So just a little bit more brown sugar. It's sweet, but it's 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 not giving me a um. I don't want it to get too sweet, so I'm not adding in too much of it. Just a little bit at a time to kind of get it to where that's it. Okay. See, all about cooking is you got to taste your food as you cook. You gotta make sure it's white. Now we got our glazed chicken over there, summering and wait. So we're gonna need a baking pan, right? Cause I told y'all y'all gonna need a baking dish. So I'm just gonna dry it out here. I'm gonna take my mashed potatoes. I ain't gonna spread. I'm just kind of spread it out like this. Your mashed potatoes. I'm your sweet potatoes. Your sweet mashed potatoes. So this was like a bag of mashed potatoes. One bag, I think I had like, one bag had like five potatoes. And then I took two potatoes out of the other bag. So this was like seven potatoes that I used. Now, you can omit about um, the potatoes and buy the already mashed potatoes that's already um, prepared. You could do that. And then warm it up to the package directions. Follow the package directions on the potatoes. And add them into your um, baking dish, okay? But if you got time, and since I got started kind of early, it's okay, I got time. Now, we're going to turn this off, because I'm going to show you guys how all this is going to come together. Remember our chicken breast, so I'm going to take my chicken and just lay it right on top of it like that. And how many of y'all know mashed potatoes is good for you? That's a good source of um, 
What it is? Protein, fiber. It's one of them. It's good. I love my sweet potatoes. So, mm. okay, that's what it should look like. You're going to need three green onions, but I'm, I'm using four, okay? I always use more than what my recipe calls for. So we're going to cut them off at the ends. I want y'all to see this. Okay. So we're just going to do this. And if you want to use four, use four. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scallions, my green onions, and I'm just going to put them over my, um, just like this. Okay. Then we're going to take just to sum it up, I'm going to use a little bit more maple syrup. Just a little bit. Just drizzle it right over it. Right over on top. Just drizzle it. That's it. You guys like this recipe? Like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. Tell me what you think about my maple glazed chicken breast along with my sweet maple sweet pota mashed potatoes. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you like this recipe. Like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. And to the next recipe, I'll see you guys later. And do enjoy. It tastes so freaking good, y'all. Maple glazed chicken. And sweet maple mashed potatoes. Drizzle in maple syrup topped with green onions. One on one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Goodbye. Well, I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say later because I'll be seeing y'all later for another fabulous recipe. See you later.